Hi everyone, thank you for uh, checking out our video on amplitude, display, and frequency span. I want to show you some quick uh, FM radio measurements here uh, using those functions. So the first thing I want to do is uh, set my span to 10 megahertz. I'm going to look at the upper half of the FM radio band and the center frequency of 103 megahertz. Uh, so now we can see uh, we've got the span we want, the star frequency 98 to the top of the FM band 108 megahertz. Looks like we need to do something with our amplitude. So uh, let's try about minus 80 and scale for division, say about 5 dB. See how that looks. Okay, that's bouncing around quite a bit. Uh, still have the attenuator on, so let's turn it off. Okay, so let's go down here to trace since it's FM, and we'll, we'll just change this to trace averaging. And now we can see the FM signals a little bit better here. Uh, we go to bandwidth. We can optimize the resolution bandwidth for, uh, for the discrimination. We can see that in auto mode, it pretty well sees the FM sidebands of the uh, radio station. And uh, I'm just going to change that to uh, 10 kilohertz just to make it a nice round even number here. Now I could keep playing with the amplitude settings till I get it just right or I can go to load settings and load settings that I already have pre-programmed and bring it right up the way I want everything all set and ready to go. So it gives you a little bit of, on how to use uh, file save settings load settings once you get a get the setup just the way you want it you can save it and recall it for later use now if we uh, if we want we can go to marker real quick and uh, put a marker on the peak and if we want we can say take that marker to the center let's get it back to the peak Oops. Uh, let's go next peak left, next peak left. Okay, it's, it is on the peak. Let's go back now and change the uh, center frequency, I mean the span, to 1 megahertz. And now we can make the measurements of this FM radio band. Check to make sure that the uh, side bands are meeting their mass for the high definition audio with multiple markers. And that's a quick tutorial on how to use amplitude, bandwidth, and frequency span with a quick uh, view to uh, uh, loading settings, recalling settings, and using the marker function more quickly.